everyone, this is Dahi Jung. It's Tuesday, 14th of June. Welcome to Korea News Express, which brings you the latest updates in Korea every week. Let's take a look at what we've got for this week's news. Korea's soft power under the spotlight despite the pandemic. Korean films play a leading role in the global film industry. Korean food fascinates the world. Then, let's look into further detail about these topics. It's the first topic. K-pop, which is loved across the globe, is growing into Korea's soft power, raising its international status. Korean idols such as TWICE and Monsta X started their overseas tours in succession, captivating fans on a global scale. K-pop is now exerting its global influence beyond being merely one of the music genres. Recently, K-pop sensation BTS addressed anti-Asian hate crimes during the visit to the White House upon invitation by President Biden. As opportunities to encounter Korean contents in various fields have increased, the popularity of the Korean wave has grown even in countries where the popularization was relatively low. Thanks to the craze for Korean wave contents, including K-pop, the Korean Foundation for International Culture Exchange said, exports derived from Korean content's popularity hit 17 billion US dollars. I hope that the positive influence will continue, eventually standing as a soft power powerhouse. Let's move on to the next topic. Last week, I brought the news about two Korean films taking home one award each at this year's Cannes Film Festival. Korean works are prominent at the center of the global media industry. Recently, Korean movies such as Parasite and Minari received constant attention from all over the world, and this year finally marked the first time for the nation to claim two major trophies at the Cannes Film Festival, catching the eyes of foreign media. Such a giant leap in Korean cinema is the result of state support that revitalized filmmakers, studios, and actors to produce outstanding quality. Not only that, the development was accompanied by private companies that supported the development of culture projects and the diversification of contents. Hopefully, Korean films with both cinematic and commercial quality will continue to be more active in the global market. It's the last topic of the day. On the back of the K contents and the Korean wave, interest in Korean food is heating up all over the world. Agriculture and fishery product exports recorded high growth, exceeding 10 billion US dollars last year for the first time. In particular, seaweed attracted the most attention. Seaweed exports amounted to 690 million US dollars in 114 countries last year now proudly positioned on the international stage as the country's most exported food. On the other hand, many foreign media spotlighted other Korean food as well. They attracted attention not merely by introducing food such as Korean fried chicken, hajeon, bulgogi or kimchi, but also by sharing their origins and recipes in detail. Among the viewers, I think many of you are interested in Korean food. Why don't you try making one this week? That's everything for this week's Korea News Express. Today, the 14th of June, is World Blood Donor Day. The aim is to raise global awareness of the need for safe blood and blood products for transfusion. Not only that, it is to express gratitude for the critical contribution voluntary unpaid blood donors make to national health systems. As blood donation decreased due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the crucial role of committed voluntary blood donors is highlighted. As recovery back to daily life has begun in earnest, I look forward to an increase in interest in blood donation. I'll be back with other new updates on Korea next week. Once again, I'm Dahi Jung. Keep it here on Korea News Express.